Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're back reading some more bad women's anatomy today and it's gonna be so fun. It's a beautiful night tonight and it just feels like the sort of night that you read stuff like this. You know, the sort of night where you're in the mood to read about guys thinking they know everything about a woman's body but they really don't. Yeah, one of those sorts of nights. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm too addicted to reading this stuff. I was joking. No, you weren't. Now you'll have your period right here, you hear? What the hell do you mean? Come on, period now. I can't control that. What? Should be easy. You just push and splat, right? Push and splat. <laughs> yeah, if they're not joking, they definitely need to watch some videos on this or something. I'm hoping so much that they are joking, but they're probably not. Oh, I just saw how a girl pees for the first time. It's kind of disgusting. I don't even know how to explain it. It's nothing like how a boy pees, which is completely completely normal. But basically, there's this gaping hole that comes out, but it also sort of takes shape of like an ancient water snake. <laughs> and then she just like pushes down on the area above it, and then it just starts going insane and pulsating like a human gasping for air almost. I don't know, man. It's insane. Like an ancient water snake. <laughs> this comment. It's true. Every time a woman pees, it's like giving birth to a demon. The hellish screaming coming from our gaping hole included. We don't pee. We shoot lava from our urethras. Every week we need to get a new toilet installed in our homes because the lava completely melts the bowl. Life would be so much easier if we just peed urine normally like men. I think there are antibiotics for that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I don't know what they're referencing either. Or did they just make this up? Either way, that was so funny. Pink was born a boy. Women cannot be born with a donus belt. What do you mean? It's just a muscular thing. That's so common, isn't it? Like if you're muscular and super Lane. What? <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Pink is definitely a boy. Yeah, I'm just making this up, but it's okay. Flat stomach equals no stomach folds. Today while doing flexibility and mobility exercises at the gym, I got approached by a familiar guy who asked if he could join me. I got really excited and I said, yeah, of course. I stand up and I walk around a little after every exercise and I encouraged him to do the same. Then while I was showing him the splits forward fold, of course, a less intense version for him, he asked me if I ever got tired of sucking in my stomach. What? He told me that when I was walking around, it almost looked like my abs were visible, but right now he could see a lot of folds. So he assumed that I was sucking in my stomach. I moved this to the mirror and I asked him to do the similar pose. The poor guy seemed to be embarrassed when looking at his own body and how many folds he had. Despite being really fit, he was super nice and polite though, so I don't think he had ill intentions. What? Just didn't know that when you sit down or when you move your body in certain directions that you're gonna get folds and stuff? No, you're made of rock and you literally don't change no matter which way you twist your body. This one's kind of wholesome though because they genuinely just didn't know any better. Oh, she has to pee or she'll get pregnant. Please tell me that's a joke. It's hard to tell with that tone and it's on the internet so there's no telling. Just for my own sanity, please tell me that you're joking. When girls pee out of their JJ, the pee pushes the you know what out so it can't reach the egg. You should have learnt this in middle school health class. Wow, that's a bit rich dude. <laughs> wow, you should totally know better. God, didn't you learn this when you were in school? Yeah, but apparently you didn't. No offense, but having your period at school is the worst. Just why at school? Why not hold it until you get home? If you did it at home, it's not embarrassing. If you did it at school, you're just asking to make yourself look like a fool. You mean like this comment? Bro, if people could hold them in, I'm pretty sure they would. Oh my god, just do that when you get home. What are you doing? Set of three different size reusable tampons that have been crocheted. I'm assured Assuming they would feel awful. <laughs> oh, 25 is very late to have kids. In what world? Hell no, it ain't. Yes, it is. After 28, extreme complications start. You after 28, you start to get serious complications in pregnancy. Okay, I only work in radiology. What the hell do I know? How's 25 late to make babies if you want one or two? If you have your first kid at 25 and your second kid at, say, 28, you're not even 30 by then. And even if you do have a kid at 30, the risks aren't that high. And you could still have a second kid at 32, 33. It's chill. No, the female body was biologically designed to start churning out kids at 16 to 18. Our social structure does not match our biological structure. I don't know why chicks are getting so upset over this. What? <laughs> you don't get why people are getting upset? Are you sure, dude? Is there any reason why Nintendo gave Link a JJ bones? Fellas, is it gay to have checking notes a pelvis? 
The JJ Bones? What? <laughs> oh, reading stuff like this is so fun but exhausting. You can't have periods. You live with your single father. I'm a college student living at home with my dad. Dad's raised me by himself pretty much since I was two and my mother passed away. Today I was out to lunch with some friends and a girl asked me if I had a spare pad because she used her last one earlier and hadn't had the chance to get more. I gave her one and she went to the bathroom and after she left, a guy in our group looked at me and said, Wow, do you just keep spares for all the girls just in case? I said I usually kept them for myself because I never start on time, but I had no problem giving them out if somebody needed one. But you don't get periods? He asked me. No, I'm pretty sure I do. I have to go to a doctor because mine are bad, but you live with your dad? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? You can't have periods because you live with just your dad. Women sync up with each other and if it's just your dad, you don't sync up. And then it stops, doesn't it? Every girl at the table honestly didn't even say anything because how do you even respond to that? Edit. Wow, this had more traction than expected. I feel like I should clarify a bit. After lunch, a bunch of us explained to him that whoever explained it to him this way was wrong. A lot of us were mostly speechless initially because it was something so outlandish. That's a good way of putting it. Boy, do we read some outlandish stuff. But we cleared some stuff up for him. He's a really decent person and never meant harm by it. He's rather relieved that he embarrassed himself in the presence of friends. Rather than any potential future dates, to those who guessed he might have been from some sort of conservative upbringing, he says that you nailed it. Wow, that's so interesting. I wonder where they learnt this. Like, nah, man, if you're a woman and you're not surrounded by women, you just don't get a period anymore. So I was chatting with my husband and I told him that my friend's nine-year-old had started their period. And he said, well, I guess she's that height forever. And I was like, what? He then says something along the lines of, yeah, when girls start their period, they stop growing. Laughing my ass off. Why would they ever think this? That's so funny. Oh, well, I guess they're going to be that height forever. Yeah, nah, probably not. How to start your period, I suppose. Drink a lot of orange juice. Trust me. Have hot baths. Rub your stomach. It brings all the eggs down. What? <laughs> Sleep with a pad under your pillow. Follow because you might never see me again. Brings all the eggs down. What do I even say about this? Listen, I'm not an expert on the subject, but I feel like it doesn't work like this. FYI, how you sneeze, naturally, is directly linked to how you ultimate diddly. And yes, I've literally had a friend who used to do those weird squeak sneezes until she got a new boyfriend and then ended up doing the full achoo thing. Is it just me or are these especially ridiculous today? Sneezing is linked to your ultimate diddly? How? I'm so confused. A vintage ice cream scooper. Very good condition. I was cleaning out the garage and I found this antique ice cream scooper. Needs to be cleaned. You think that's an ice cream scooper? <laughs> Has to be a joke, doesn't it? Can women that have large breasts notice low magnitude earthquakes quicker? <laughs> oh my god, that's such a funny thought. Women that have large breasts definitely notice earthquakes a lot sooner. Like, what do you think, dude? Actually, healthy women have little or no body hair, soft and clear skin and big breasts. It's just your stupid man-like behaviours that damage your body and beauty so that you need to shave and use skincare products and undergo plastic surgery. Be feminine once in a while and blame yourself for a freaking second. Nah. <laughs> oh my god, take a little bit of responsibility for not being so feminine. The fact that they're getting angry about this is so irritating. Like, so confidently incorrect and they're upset about it. Oh, way too many birthmarks. I think that means your parents were related in some way. Okay, that's enough for today, guys. Time for something wholesome. Oh, cute. I was cutting onions in the kitchen and my cat wouldn't leave my side. Oh, I love you and I'm curious as to what you're doing and I don't know why my eyes are leaking. It fell a long time ago, but it never gave up. Okay, new plan. Yeah, wow, that's so beautiful. Looks super cool as well. Me watching a simplified science video so I can talk about her interests. My girlfriend, a certified doctor and PhD student. Oh, that's so sweet. I will try to vaguely understand what you're talking about. All aboard the Diglett bus. No way, they look so similar. I know it's not intentional, but I already like this bus so much more. I lost a friend last year and I miss him badly, but we're dancing together forever on Google Maps. Oh, that's 
so beautiful. Together forever on Google Maps. Yeah, that's sad, but lovely in a way as well. And once again, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you had a wonderful time. That was such a fun video. We need to make more bad women's anatomy videos. It's one of those subreddits that I tend to forget about. And then when I'm looking for something to read, I'm like, oh yeah, bad women's anatomy. And it's always such a good time. And yeah, thank you for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a wonderful time. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And the comments of the day goes to HB. There are some videos that feels kind of gross to like, but gotta support Vincey. Plus, it's how I keep track of what ones I've already seen. Yeah, I completely understand that. Like, this is revolting, but I enjoyed it as well. Feel bad liking this. But yeah, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Even when it's hard to like because it's so horrifying. That's true dedication right there. Okay, it's a million percent dinner time. Thank you again for all your support, guys. Make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye!